Hello everyone, it's Tana. Welcome back to the Rabbit Hole Designs YouTube channel and a bonus video. So this is my third video this month because I really wanted to use the Flowers in Her Hair stamp set. And as you can see there, I colored two images off screen. The first one, if you'll notice, I added dimension to it. So I'll tell you that story in a second. So first we're going to do a, black, a background on black, 140 pound Stonehenge watercolor cardstock. That's a mouthful. So I showed you all the colors there and listed them on the screen. I'm just putting a little bit of each one on my glass mat. Glassboard Studios, by the way, and I do not have a coupon code, but there are plenty of YouTube users that do. Uh, Corin Wiskman, uh, Daniel West for Dell and Artie, I believe. Uh, quite a few. Moving on. Um, I add a couple drops of water to each one, and I will tell you I used more shimmer powder than I put on the mat, but you can always add more. You can't squeeze it back into the bottle, so less is more. So while you watch me do this uh, background with the Amanda stencil by the Rabbit Hole Designs, I will tell you that when I get the releases and I'm planning out my videos, I usually stamp every image of every stamp set I have and color them, even if I don't use necessarily use every colored image. It gives me an idea of colors I want to use, if I want to switch up my coloring medium, so, you know, things like that. So I colored her, and you guys know me, I tend to lean towards red hair because of my daughter Riley, and colored her entirely. Had all the images sitting at the top of my screen when I was doing the first video and dropped a black ink pad on her. So I thought that I could get away with using the image and just cutting out certain parts, redoing them, not cutting them out, but stamping, restamping them, cutting them out, and kind of paper piecing them essentially, popping them up on foam tape so it would give added dimension. And it also fell on her hair. Let's just say I ended up covering every aspect of that image over with new pieces but still you know hey life goes on so we have two images here I really do like the blue hair on the other one I think it gives a really fairy or ethereal look to her and that was a look I was going for for the second card so that image is or that background is all done and that, that's what it looks like once it was dry so now we're gonna work on the second background and I'm going to use my rabbit hole designs powder tool there. Be careful, okay? I just have to say, I know my kids are playing with my powder tool because there's always an excess amount of powder when I use it. Hide yours if you have kids because I had a hard time getting the powder off of this background only because I used a glitter embossing powder over the stamped uh, words, sentiments. And I was trying not to wipe the glitter off the embossing powder, so that was a trial in itself. So I stamped out all three sentiments. It's the same sentiment in three different languages, English, Spanish, and French. And I alternated the way they landed on the panel. And I stamped them out with blue metallic ink. I don't even know if you can get this ink anymore. It actually came from my grandmother's stash when she passed away and still worked if you can believe it but I don't know if they're still sold if I can find them I'll put them in the description box below anyway the, the blue just didn't turn out enough I mean I swiped it on a piece of the black cardstock and you could see it clearly but you know stamping out the sentiment it didn't really work as well as I thought that's why I went with the Catherine Pooler inspired wow embossing powder called halo to give it a kind of glitter effect while still being able to read them. And here I am stamping out two more sentiments, one for each card. And one of them will be embossed with Simon Says Stamp Ultra Fine Gold Detail Embossing Powder and the other one with Silver by Simon Says Stamp. And I'm going to use the very ancient Deckle, might as well be in Deckle Edge Trimmer, that's what it does. This also came from my grandmother and I will never get rid of it and I love it. It doesn't have any measurements on it but that's simple enough to fix. 
So I, I did all four sides of that second background with the deco trimmer. And now I'm just going to fussy cut around my sentiments very close, kind of like a bubble cut, instead of going with a straight strip because when the sentiments are double lined like that, the strips tend to be too thick for my liking. Now I'm going to adhere that second background onto a uh, gray card base. It's a slightly darker gray than fog. Um, I don't know if it's cement, my, my favorite things, or if it's the next gray up or darker, next shade darker in Simon Says Stamp. I have both, but when I pre-fold my card stacks or my card bases, I don't tend to remember which is which. And I'm going to pop up our girl there down in the bottom right corner, and then I popped up the sentiment on the left side towards the top. For this first card, I'm going to glue her straight down to the center of the card panel, and the sentiment is going down in the lower right, popped up on foam tape. I did not add foam tape to her because she already had pieces of her that were raised. I added some colored pearls to each one, like a purplish one for the first card and blue for the second card. And that's it for this bonus video, guys. Hope you like the cards today. Don't forget to sign up for the Rabbit Hole Designs email so you can be aware of all new releases. And don't forget to check out Instagram and Facebook for new inspiration every day. And we'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye for now.